Here's the output and it is amazing. I'll be the first to say, we just gave two websites to ChatGPT and I was able to access both. And assuming it can access whatever competitors you put in here, it can go and do this for you. Get ready to have your socks blown off because now we can browse with Bing inside ChatGPT. Four, you have to have a paid plan for this. Works with Plus and Enterprise, not with the free 3.5. If you click on this, we can now browse the interwebs with ChatGPT. There's a very particular way you have to do it though. So I'm gonna look up a random business, let's say bakery in Ojai. I don't know how you spell it. Let's find some bakeries. Uh, the Duchess Bakery, Burmese restaurant, Burmese bakery. Looks like they serve other foods besides bakeries. I'm just looking for a regular old bakery. Let's go with this one. The Arbolata Bakery. Now what I'm gonna do is find their website and I'm gonna ask it a very specific prompt. So I'm gonna pretend right here that I own a local bakery in Ojai, California called the Arbolata Bakery. This isn't really mine, by the way. And if you're watching this video and it is your bakery, it looks fantastic, um, consider this free advertising. So this is my website that we just copied from that listing as well. Can you find my competitors in the local area? And now it's gonna start browsing with Bing. Right there is Bing. So it's looking at bakeries near Ojai, California to find my competitors. It's reading this blog post, top 10 best bakeries, I assume in Ojai, and identified a bunch of key competitors that could be considered competitors of this bakery in Ojai. And some information about all of them. There's the Duchess the one we saw a moment ago. I'm gonna stop it there. It goes on and on, that's the end actually. And it puts, um, oops, it puts footnotes on all of these and it links to where it found the information. At least that's how it appears to me. So it found all of these on this Yelp post. This number two, here's a different one. The best 30 bakeries of Ojai. So it's a different review page. Those are all the number twos. Number three is another one as well. Um, Sun Oven Gluten-Free Baking Company. So it went right to their, or Sun Oven, went right to their website to get that. So that's great. We found some competitors. Now we're gonna take it to the next level. And I'm gonna focus on this one, Farmer and Cook. I'm gonna ask it to find the Farmer and Cook Bakery social media profiles. It's gonna start browsing again. And this is right now, it's on Bing right now, looking this stuff up. So gone are the days where ChatGPT can't do current events. It's here, current events are here, we're live on the internet. No, I didn't wanna find competitors. I wanted to find the social media profiles. Let's capitalize this, social media profiles. There we go, now it seems to have gotten it. So it turned up to Instagram and LinkedIn. I'm asking it if it, there's some others. Because I find sometimes GPT just kind of shuts down. It kind of, you know, I found two. It's probably good enough, right? You don't want all of them, do you? I kind of did. That's why I asked for, implicitly, I asked for all of them by asking for the social media profiles. We can't click on this. So we can't go see what it's actually doing. This is the search query, I imagine. But we don't know what it's actually, what the rest of it is. And what it's looking for. Looks like it's reading the home page, trying something new. Okay, I'm able to find additional social media profiles. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna ask it to go to these places now and see if it can pull some social media posts. Can you go to the Farmer and the Cook Bakeries LinkedIn profile and summarize the last three posts they made? Assuming they even made posts. Let's have a look. I'm sure they did for LinkedIn. Oh, page not found. Well, that's great. Let's go to LinkedIn. They're image posts, so that's harder. Uh, but these do have captions. So I'm gonna ask it specifically, can you go to the Farmer and the Cook Bakery's Instagram profile and summarize the captions of the most recent three posts? See if you can do that. Might not be able to also due to restrictions. I had to log in to view the post. Yeah, okay. So it has to be stuff that's public. I had to log in to view this. When I clicked on the image, it just made me log in to see it. Okay, so I found a social media profile that might work. I went to Microsoft on Twitter.com or X, whatever they want to call it, and this is publicly accessible. So GPT might be able to pull these captions. Let's see if it can. And I'm actually not going to paste the URL of that page that we're on. I'm going to see if it can go to Twitter.com and look up at Microsoft. If it can't do that, I'll just try giving it the URL directly. Wasn't able to access due to website restrictions. Uh, that could be because um, Twitter under Elon blocked bots and this might be viewed as a bot. 
So I don't know where it's pulling this from. That gives it right here, recent stories on Microsoft. So it can't go to Twitter directly because it's blocked. So we're really stuck with websites or sites that don't block bots or sites that don't require logins to see the information. Let's go back to our bakery chat and I wanna try something a little different. It took off all of our all of our fancy stuff, all the, the content within the finished browsing, it's all gone. So that's unfortunate, so you don't wanna leave the chat. Um, what I wanna do is go to Arbolata Bakery website and see if it can summarize the content and let us know if we're missing any content that we should add for bakery website. So what I'm asking it is, can you go to this URL and summarize the homepage content for me? Also, please let me know if there's anything you think a bakery homepage should have that this one doesn't. Let's see what it does. So it summarized the homepage quite succinctly, gives a footnote credit to the actual page where it was, where we got the information, and then it shares some improvements that we could possibly make to make it even better. And I bet we could even go, not I bet, we should find out. Can we go to a different bakery website and have GPT compare them to let me know what they have that I don't? Let's try that. Let's use the farmer and the cook that we had earlier in this video. Let's see if GPT can do this. Unable to access farmer and the cook. When we access it, it works just fine. So they might have some kind of bot blocking Let's try a different one. Let's do the Duchess, which we saw earlier in the video as well. Let's just copy and paste this prompt. Put that in there. Let's see if we can do that. Browsing. It appears to be accessing the website without being blocked. Reading the homepage. It's a good sign. It's reading the menus now. It's pretty thorough. I think it might have understood what we're getting at here. Here's the output, and it is amazing. I'll be the first to say, we just gave two websites to ChatGPT and was able to access both. And assuming it can access whatever competitors you put in here, it can go and do this for you. Uh, it basically identified a bunch of gaps that the Arbolata Bakery could work on. And uh, this is a big one here. There's no about us story. People of you who shop local, they like to know about the people and the background. That might be a great thing to include. Even this, sustainability, and sourcing, especially in California, where people are a little more eco-friendly, a little more eco-conscious than the average Joe. Nothing, provided it, at least not on the homepage. Um, so there's a bunch of things that the Arbolata could potentially improve on. Now imagine if you own this business, or any business, and you do this process for all your competitors, and you find the gaps, stuff that you're missing, stuff that you can improve on, and it's just a few clicks. If you were to do this manually, which you can, you can do this all manually, it just takes so long, it'd be a lot of work. And you also want to go and, and double check this to make sure it's all true. I'm sure it, it, I'm sure it is. GPT is really good at reading stuff and summarizing it. Here, it isn't just making up facts. It isn't just pulling numbers out of its hat. It's actually going there and reading the content. And I think it only read the homepage for the Arbolata. So yeah, so it doesn't, it doesn't have an About Us section on the homepage, it says specifically, but there might be an About Us page with that information. But I think the, the Duchess has it right on the homepage. And so you gotta double check the work just to make sure it's accurate, but you could save yourself a whole ton of time. You could even sell this to other businesses as a service where you do a deep dive analysis on their competitors, just using ChatGPT, <laughs> doing all the work for you. Either way, this is the new feature, Browse with Bing. It's pretty awesome. Check it out. And if you haven't done so yet, check out this video right here with another new feature, which is the voice feature where GPT talks to you and you talk to it. Check out that video there. And the one below it for DALI 3 integration, where we now have image generation right inside ChatGPT. Check that out. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from the AI Underground. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.